From a cutting-edge device that'll help farmers save thousands on their harvest, to all the innovative ways technology is shaping up farming for the better, here's all about AI making waves in the agriculture industry. Starting with this innovative plant patch, a high-tech patch that claims to shield crops and garden plants from diseases. That's right, American researchers have created an electrical gadget that can be put on leaves to monitor crops for pathogens such as viral and fungal infections, as well as threats like droughts. They claim that during testing, the patch will be able to spot viral infections. For instance, it caught on to disease in tomato plants more than a week before gardeners were able to spot any obvious signs. North Carolina State University's Dr. Xingxiang Wei explained the importance of this device. Because the earlier growers can identify plant diseases or fungal infections, the better they'll be able to limit the spread of the disease and preserve their crop. Also, farmers will be better able to address issues and increase crop yield the faster they can recognize abiotic stresses, such as saltwater intrusion contamination irrigation water. According to him, the method expands upon an earlier prototype patch that used plant emissions of volatile organic compounds, or VOC, to detect sickness. And according to the research team, plants produce various VOC mixtures depending on the environment. The sensors can notify farmers and gardeners of specific issues by, by focusing on VOCs that are important for particular diseases or plant stress. The new patches include extra sensors that enable them to track environmental humidity, temperature, and the the quantity of moisture that the plants are exhaling through their leaves. Cool, right? Plus, the patches, which are only 30 millimeters long, are made of a flexible polymer that includes sensors and electrodes made of silver nanowires. They're put under leaves because these surfaces contain a larger density of stomata, the holes that allow the plant to breathe by exchanging gases with its surroundings. Researchers experimented with these patches by testing them on tomato plants in greenhouses. Now, if you've ever tried to grow a tomato plant, you know how hard it is, and how it can die out of nowhere. So, these plants were subjected to a number of stresses, such as excessive watering, dry conditions, a lack of light, and high salt concentrations in the water. Basically, all that can normally go wrong. In order to establish which sensor combinations were most successful at detecting sickness and stress, researchers plugged experiment data into an artificial intelligence algorithm. And hallelujah! Overall, the results of those experiments were all very encouraging. They discovered discovered, for instance, that by combining three sensors on a patch, they could see the disease four days after the plants were initially affected. Since tomatoes typically don't start to exhibit any physical symptoms for 10 to 14 days, this is a huge win. According to the researchers, creating a usable patch for farmers is just a few steps away. The first issue is to make the patches wireless, which is not too difficult. Then, they have to make sure the patches will function in actual, real environments, so they must also test them outside of greenhouses to continue working on and testing this technology. They're actively seeking industry and agricultural partners. This might be a great step forward in helping producers prevent minor issues from developing into major ones and in meaningfully addressing issues with food security. You see, smart agriculture has a ton of potential with wearable plant sensors. In fact, with AI and tech in general, the Earth now has a population of 8 billion people, double the population since 1974. Despite the fact that population population growth has slowed. If things continue as they are, we should reach 9 billion pretty soon. How much food must be provided for everyone? Could John McCarthy, who first used the phrase artificial intelligence in 1955 to describe the science and engineering of making intelligent machines, have foreseen how technology would impact our ever-increasing demand for food? Look, a person needs 2,000 calories a day on average to live a healthy life. And right now, the world is faced with a huge issue as population growth means increased food production. But climate change puts increasing stress on water resources and agricultural production. Today's farmers are under pressure and require expertise in a variety of areas, including soil and fertilizer science, crop-specific pesticides, planting and irrigation cycles, and the effects of the weather. Farmers must now produce more food while using less energy and water, since pests alone can ruin up to 40% of the world's crops every year. There has been a lack of farm labor globally for years due to urbanization. Problems with immigration and a generational shift away from farming, which implies that farmers must lessen their reliance on a workforce and instead shift to newer methods. You see, never before has technology been more essential to a successful crop cycle. There are over 200 AI-based agricultural firms in the United States alone, which indicates that the autonomous farming sector is starting to develop. Self-driving tractors, combine harvesters, robot swarms for crop inspection, and autonomous sprayers are a few examples of artificial 
intelligence in agriculture. Aside from using AI and computer vision to collect data on crops and modify the environment for the best nutrition and flavor, indoor farming businesses like Plenty and App Harvest are also using these technologies. Plus, some people are even harvesting food with robots, like Blue River Technology, which employs artificial intelligence and machine learning to distinguish between crops and weeds, enabling more precise delivery of herbicides and requiring less physical labor. By the way, food production isn't the only factor to take into account. The loss or waste of food accounts for 38% of the total energy used by the global food system, and it's estimated that 17% of the world's total food output is lost when food is wasted. The resources, land, water, energy, labor, and capital used to produce it are also misused. In addition, the problem of landfills because food waste produces greenhouse gas emissions that further fuels climate change. It's all a vicious cycle, and agrotech seems to be the only solution. AI can help decision makers in agriculture enhance output while reducing waste in the face of rising expenses. Don't get me wrong, farming has always required a lot of labor, and there's still a lot of human involvement needed. No robots taking your job here, only streamlining it, making it smoother, more efficient. Many applications of AI in agriculture help farmers understand their crops more quickly, comprehensively, and precisely. For instance, AI systems use computer vision to see plant health and detect pests in addition to monitoring sunlight. In fact, networks of sensors gather information on soil temperature, watering, and other factors, which is then aggregated to provide growers with a better picture of crop health and enable them to maximize crop output and quality. That much information is too much for humans to quickly and effectively analyze, so AI effectively automates these boring, overwhelming procedures and monitor crops better than we can. Plus, innovative AI methods can automate the most difficult operations and provide previously undiscovered insights into a variety of agricultural data. By the way, this plant patch device isn't the only agrotech you need to be looking out for. There's a laser scarecrow out to get the jobs of all regular straw scarecrows. In an open field, crops are constantly in danger from birds or rodents. Farmers used traditional scarecrows in the past to fend off these rude visitors, but to prevent birds from stealing crops, farm owners are now using high-tech devices with motion sensors. A University of Rhode Island researcher helped in the creation of a laser scarecrow that emits green laser light. Why green? Well, this was after learning that birds are sensitive to color. The light can shoot 600 feet across a field to alarm birds before they come to harm crops. And the best part? It is invisible to people. Early research on laser scarecrows revealed that the devices can reduce crop damage by a huge amount and kept birds and rodents away by up to 70 to 90 percent. Impressive, right? There were also leaps and bounds being made with AI and tech in livestock farming that are redefining the industry. For instance, without any human assistance, automated dairy installations milk cows, and the milk sensors also help farmers keep an eye on the milk quality. Then, robotics, artificial intelligence, and big data is being used to improve farm productivity and animal care. What a time to be alive. Anyway, that's all the time we have today to talk about innovations in farming and agriculture.